new day, new season, and a brand new gameplay video today. As you may saw my previous post of trying of me trying to install USB loader on my Wii U system, I accidentally uh I I was trying to put up my the USB loader files into the USB so that I can put in some games for me to to easily play for free, but it accidentally deleted all the Wii U systems database or not Wii, Wii U database, the Wii U save data and that includes all of the games that, that are now deleted on my Wii U system including Wii Sports Club and Wii Party U. So therefore, I won't be able to play Wii Party U for a while until this gets fixed. So then I decided to go to Wii Party just to do a series of this game so we're gonna go ahead and start this Wii Party series off for the Nintendo Wii by heading to Board Game Island. I'm the only player here. It's just one player. There's no friend of mine that's currently with me at this moment. <laughs> I went ahead to Board Game Island throughout the series to prove Professor that Wii Party for the Nintendo Wii is not rigged. And we're gonna start things off with beginner me's. Oh, and look at that. We somehow managed to get a pretty good lineup right off the bat. So let's go through the, the lineup here and see what we got here. We got so me, Abby, Patrick, and Andy. So without any further ado, let's start this series off by starting strong at beginner difficulty to prove this game in Wii Party that this is not rigged. Alright, so the first minigame we got up here is Chin Up Champ. Who can do the most chin ups in 10 seconds? Let's find out. So, I'm mainly like a god at this minigame. And watch this. It may be breathtaking, but all you have to do in this minigame is to rapidly press A and B at the same exact time as fast as you can. Oh gosh, I only got to, I got to 67 from that. I wish I could have gotten 69 out of that, because that would, that would have been the funny number that I got. I had a couple of times during the previous videos where I had my, where I streamed We Party You. I think it was a stream. And look at that, we ended up getting a pretty good roll there. And we got ourselves a number two. And we only had three spaces left, which puts us on uh, adding four spaces and puts us in a UFO. And thank goodness it didn't count, though. Because if I would have landed on the UFO there, then that would have been the most stupidest, uh, ridiculous roll I ever had. Of course, Patrick here ended up rolling better than me. So he here is going to be ahead of me. Oh, another six. Might as well go more than six. And Amy, on the other hand, ended up getting third place from that first mini game. And yeah, as I was saying about Chin Up Champ, you had to do like, press the A and B buttons on your Wii Remote rapidly in order to, to, uh, I lost my train of thought here to win throughout the most of the mini game. The next mini game is called Ram Jam, and basically all you have to do in this mini game is use the D-pad to make your character move and try to avoid pushing by, by the sheep here. I should probably stop talking to focus on clearing my way through all this sheep. And look at that, we somehow managed to make our paths all the way through the sheep, and these boys somehow managed to struggle there. And he ended up getting last here because of him getting robbed by the sheep, making Patrick to get, um, uh, I don't know. I lost my train of thought again. And look at there, we ended up getting a pretty good roll out of that one. And, if, and I tell you, this is, this is just my theory. Since I have four spaces left, this challenge right here, I have to roll a four, five, or a six in order to pass. And it wasn't even close, so... The, the last four spaces 
ended up going to waste. Alright, this next mini game is called Flat Hurdles. And I actually did a showcase of all the mini games. I've won most of the mini games. I've lost a couple of or a few of these mini games. And again, this is to prove Professor of how godly I am in Wii Party Beginner difficulty. So far, we didn't even get hit of some sort. What? I shook my remote! How, how did that not even... Okay. I don't know how that even registered there, but... We were, we were way far ahead either way, so it doesn't even matter. Looks like Patrick and Andy ended up in a tie of third place. And Andy somehow managed to win the roll off of some sort, causing Patches to get last. Alright. I actually ended up getting a roll that would put us to the happy hands, man. But let's see if it's even worth it. Wow, we actually got it! <laughs> what are the odds? What are the. We got that we get ourselves a good roll that would lead us to the happy hands, man. Pass this challenge and then head to the space of the happy hands, man. It puts us way ahead of the competition now. That is a big accomplishment there. That is a pretty big accomplishment. But I must not get too cocky here because there's a good chance that some of the other opponents could land on the happy hands man. Of, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. What are the freaking odds? What are the freaking odds? Who saw that coming? Who literally saw that coming that someone was definitely gonna land on the happy hands man as well. Fuck's sake, man. This is literally fucking beginner difficulty. You should... <laughs> ah. you should at least give me a freaking chance for once. It's already round four, and, and somehow I'm still not in first place. I mean, I'm tied with first place. I've had a pretty big opportunity to get way far ahead of the competition, but... I let my luck run out so fast that somehow Abby here would just tie my lead up. Well, let's see how we perform here in Lucky Launch. We may have a good or bad chance. At least we didn't get last here. Okay. God damn it, Abby! Jesus, man, I thought for sure that we would we would have a, have a big opportunity to to go for the biggest one because obviously in beginner difficulty it's just my theory by the way the biggest one would be the big opportunity to get first place but but no I think the small one here ended up causing the player to win the challenge which is Ellie here oh wow she's actually going in the volcano thank you game thank you so much game we're finally, um, I know, I know, I don't know what to say, but thank you, Gabe. But let's see, let's see if you can thank me hard enough. If we can pass through here, thank you. I'm somehow finally gonna get my lead back after so much freaking time. Holy cow. And he ended up rolling a 3, which puts us in a 1v3 minigame. Basically, what this 1v3 minigame is, you'll have to... Since I'm the one of the members of the... Of the three member... <laughs> you'll have to block... The following fruits that Andy is trying to count here. Dude, these players are not even trying to block the falling fruit. And I, on the other hand, am still trying to block the fruit. And, like, I'm seriously, I'm like the only one that's trying to 
block the fruit. The idiot here is trying to count. I don't think that's... Ooh. I thought Andy would got it for sure, but he somehow missed a strawberry by one. Okay, this next mini game is called Rope Sling. And from what I saw in Professor's videos, he mainly sucked ass at it. But I, on the other hand, am like the legit god at this. All you have to do for this one is go for the furthest distance. That's so early. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. After after literally all this time that I had with fucking rope sling, I was putting so much effort into this biggest swing of all time, and all of a sudden, I ended up uh uh I ended up getting lost. This that was uh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's, and since Patrick World of Four here, he ended up in the volcano. And he's still in the volcano. And there's a there's a big opportunity that Andy here could, uh, could land on the happy hands, man. And there's a big chance. Like, a pretty high chance. Since I ended up getting last, which I don't want to. Okay. My, I was thought wrong. He's not gonna land on the happy heads, man. I had to roll anything but a two here. Otherwise, I'm going back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we literally had a one-sixth of a chance to roll a two. But guess what we got? A freaking five. Which we're safe for now, still. It all comes down to this next mini game here. Which, apparently, you have to... All you have to do is shake the Wii remote with both of your hands just to chop the vegetable. It's freaking chop chops! It's like, you have to hurry the freak up just enough to chop the vegetable as fast as you can. Man, just a summary of this game. I, I won almost every single minigame except two that I somehow ended up getting second place on and somehow getting last. And of course, I didn't pass this spike ball challenge. Was it even close to a freaking five or six? Oh boy. Looks like I'm the only person here on this boinky violence here, so therefore, he would have to face against me. Alright, I just gotta speed run through this one. What did I tell you? I got it! <laughs> Somehow, like a speed run mini game, we had to change the channels of some sort. Oh, and of course, since Patrick rolled a one here, he somehow managed to get the shortcut. That brings him back all the way to the to the island again. And every <laughs> What a freaking coincidence! Every two ended up getting out of the volcano and somehow takes her lead back, which puts me not in first place. Alright, this mini game, I think you have to Use the motion tilt on your Wii remote to turn, and then press 2 to accelerate. Actually, somehow, somehow Abby didn't get that. No, Andy! Oh my god, and thank you for not getting that. Fuck you, Patrick! Oh, fuck you, Abby! I wanted to get that golden balloon. At least we had a pretty far lead there. Like, destroying. We... <laughs> I know, I know. Finish. 
Dude, 26, and none of these players haven't gotten uh, another, another points out of that. Of course, Amy ended up getting second place, which she's currently in the fucking lead right now. But we do not want to roll uh, an 8 here, because that could be the cause of landing on a UFO, which apparently I can't swap spaces with Abby, who's currently on a UFO space and just rolled a 3. I was hoping that Abby would get this challenge right away, but that wasn't gonna be enough. Alright, Patrick landed on a um, volcano space, which is, this is usually not good for all of us. But that's a, that's okay. That's okay. Me and Abby are have landed on this. Uh, we landed on nothing. There's there's a big opportunity for the, for our next turns. There's a big opportunity that we could be still safe. And he somehow managed to not pass the the uh, the challenge here, which puts him safe at least. All right, this mini game is called Puzzle Pickup. All you have to do for this one is put the puzzles to the correct pieces. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I like 20 to... I have 20 points collected from that minigame. And these beginners somehow... They, they, they got a couple of points there for me. You ended up rolling an 8. If we don't roll a 4, 5, or a 6 here, then... Like, yep. Yeah. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course! We had such a good roll for our biggest opportunity to take our lead, but then somehow we roll lower than a 4, 5, or 6 again, which makes us fail the challenge, and that puts me and Abby backwards again. And he's somehow catching up to us. Actually, never mind, he's going in the volcano. Almost everyone has is going in the volcano except me who's literally just trying to dominate every single fucking beginner me but i thought for sure that freaking beginner difficulty is gonna be the biggest domination of we party but the game somehow is making it longer for us and patrick somehow took the same path that andy picked resulted in this same result that Andy got. Alright, this next mini game is called Strategy Step. All you have to do is pick the number that makes you go forward and not let anyone pick the same number as you. Five! <laughs> we, we literally all picked the same number that time. Are you just gonna let Abby do the take the lead from me? Or are you are you just gonna freaking Okay, there we go. There we go. This is this is what I wanted. This is what I freaking wanted. A five could take us to the top here. Damn it! God fucking damn it! How did you guys let freaking Andy win? I didn't even have a chance that 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 was, that was the fucking chance. That was our chance. And freaking Abby, Patrick, freaking blew it. And of course we get the worst possible outcome out of the fucking roll off. And, and, and that's bull crap. That is fucking bull crap. That uh, somehow freaking Abby managed to win the roll off. And I, on the other hand, got the worst possible outcome from the roll-off. Oh yeah, if, if you get another one here... Oh yeah, oh yeah, watch this, watch this. Watch her pass this challenge. What'd I tell you? She just got it. Oh, another four spaces, so you might as well go. Another four puts you way ahead of me. All right, my man. Let's see what possibilities we could get. We got ourselves a five. 
and puts us another plus five, so we might as well go ten here. We're gonna catch up and pass Abby no matter what. I'm just saying. All right, since Patrick ended up uh, landing on a 1v3 space, all we have to do to win this minigame is just throw the pieces of wood and try to knock him down with all of these pieces of wood because pieces of wood are so hard. Wow, that was, that was literally, that was literally head bog goose there. All right, this minigame right here is called Feathered Fre um, feathered frenzy and all you have to do is with your Wii pointer is be careful of Trying to be careful of what feathers of what you're trying to grab because basically Pink feathers are worth a point and gold feathers are worth Three points, but you always have to be careful of the leaves. How did I not grab that there? Yeah, you always have to be careful with the Wii Pointer on trying to make sure to get it dead center of the feather because because there is possibility that you could miss the feather and and that and, and I know they just these feathers just trick you. All right, let's see. Like, uh, yeah, get a get a three. We get a three. We get a fucking three. But that's okay. That's okay. We get ourselves a, we gonna put ourselves in a 1v1 mini game. I'm literally gonna have to face against Abby because, because since she is in the lead, I'm gonna have to destroy her in this 1v1. Oh, oh shit! I might have, I might have miscounted. I might have, I might have miscounted a little bit. But let's see the the results here. Ashley. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got the exact number! Eat... And yeah, yeah. Eat some shit, Abby. Go literally fuck yourself and hope you die in the volcano. And that also means Abby here is going backwards seven spaces. That sucks for you, Abby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, not me huge. I dare you. I dare you to not <laughs> Fuck I fucking hate you, Abby! I know for sure that freaking Abby here can somehow be one of the most hottest bees in freaking we history. But in this game, she ain't she ain't the freaking Oh yeah, oh yeah, switch me here to Patrick. Switch me here too. Actually, thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for saving me from freaking distress of fucking Abby. And... My god, man. I... Pat... First off, at the beginning of the game, Patrick was like, um somewhat having my lead here but is it uh, in that turn Patsy was actually here to save me from freaking Abby oh my gosh man I, I was literally like the, I turned a little left and that's what missed my my space of getting a perfect yard from that alright so we don't want an 11 or a six here. Um. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. We, we're we safe. We're safe. Of course, freaking Abby gets freaking second place again. Puts her on nothing. I guess for whatever reason, since she got freaking owned by Patrick thanks to the UFO. I guess for whatever reason she's somewhat coming back. Oh yeah, it's Twister time indeed. Let's hope it's Abby. Oh no, it's freaking Andy. 
point, Andy here is falling way the fuck behind now. Alright, this mini game is called Smile Snap, and you'll you have to try to attempt to get the, the most faces of all time. Oh, I think I got them all. I think I got them all. Oh, I did. I did get them all. Wow. That, that was picture perfect right there. That was... I'm really proud of myself. That was like a big accomplishment that I have. But let's see if this accomplishment was even worth it. Actually, that's exactly what we needed. Even though this... Even though all the luck we have in this mini game from... Gave us a... Pretty bad roll there. Okay, I was about to say... If... If we would've... Rolled a six on that... Gate, then we would... Then we would've been... Perfect domination. Oh no. Oh no. This is where Abby comes back here. Because now, since she was, wants to be the head of the volcano, she's gonna freaking. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Abby. Thank you for saving me from literally to try to go backwards. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying here. Abby's somehow making a comeback. And, and it's somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, man. This is. I thought for sure that it's it'd still be inner difficulty. I would have been perfect domination. Beginner difficulty is literally like. It's, it's supposed to be like perfect domination, but this is literally this game is never gonna freaking end Dude, I I was standing still at the last second there and and we we would try to freaking um Trying to stay still for the last few seconds And, and, and then and then we somehow won we won as a team this next minigame, I think I'm okay with. As long as we're not screwed here, we should be good. This could be the perfect opportunity. No Patrick! Wow, those three literally got stuck in a corner there. The other zombie on the other hand was trying to chase after me. Alright, this is our biggest chance to dominate beginner difficulty first try. Let's see about that. These fucking freaking dice. The dice fucked me again. I can't believe it. At I can't believe it. After so much effort that I put in this mini game, winning zombie tag. I ended up not getting this challenge. I ended up not getting this challenge. And we we would have had we would have had you all saw it here. You all saw it here. We would have had a big opportunity to win the entire game. But now here we are struggling with this final gate. And then Abby here. Oh my gosh. Whew. I literally thought Abby was literally gonna get this challenge here, but we can't let Abby get second or third here. Because even though it's... You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. And you literally had to pick anything but Dicey Descent. And you get... And you decided to chose fucking Dicey Descent. Okay. This is the biggest debate here. This is the biggest debate. Um. My opportunity is right. No. I think we'll get it wrong here. Well, we both got it wrong that time. It was right, left, and then left. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not fucking matter. We got first. We're A-OK. -okay. God damn it. 
I thought Auntie for sure was gonna defeat Abby in the Raw, but Abby somehow managed to defeat Auntie. But let's see, let's see, let's see if this win was worth it. It was a pretty tough win for the mini game. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Nine at the dot. Fuck you, fuck you, Patrick. Fuck you, Abby. Fuck you, all beginner mees. I have won. Because if I, if I, if they, if it wasn't even worth it, then I would have lost to a freaking beginner me. The possibilities were, were either Patrick or Abby. That would have, I would have been so fucking pissed of what just happened there. Like, look at this. Look at the scoreboard. He would, Abby was this close to dominating me, even though she's really hot of some sort. And yeah, what I tell you, I would, it was almost like pure domination of beginner difficulty. And yeah, that, yeah, that's the end of beginner difficulty because next stop is standard difficulty, which is currently like the intermediate level of trying to dominate board game island. And yeah, that's what difficulty down and four more to go. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this Wii Party video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the button and just subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hit the notification bells to get notified. And make sure you become a sponsor, a member of this channel. It's only $1 a month. And yeah, this is Leibs, signing off. Goodbye.